All right, this is Panther Weekly here with Kentucky Wesleyan head baseball coach Todd Lillipop. Coach, can you talk about the Ohio Valley Series at home where you guys took three out of four? Uh, yeah, we played um, We played okay. I mean, it wasn't exactly the way we want to play. Um, but anytime you can take a three out of four in a series uh, and win that series, um, you're doing some good things. Um, still not getting the consistency that we need, but we feel like, you know, it'll come. Off offensively, we were a little slow getting started. Um, it came it came together pretty quickly on day two, and then we kind of just kind of went off from there. Uh, Got to be better on the mound as far as um, commanding pitches, throwing three pitches for strikes, um, doing the things that we need to do um, to keep people off the base pass. Um, and then when they do get on the base pass, making pitches uh, and counts to get people um, to hit in the hit the ground balls, get double plays turned. Um, the main focus for us has been just continue to get better on the, on the small things. If you do those, we will be fine. Um, but we, we struggled a little bit with that this week. On uh, Saturday, it's kind of a tale of two different games. The first game you guys scored all kinds of runs, scored 19, and then the second game you guys needed a late rally. Troy Paris with that late home run in the seventh inning kind of rallied you guys and gave you guys some momentum. You just talk about the two different games. They're kind of completely different. Well, game one on Saturday, I mean, they were throwing one of their best guys, and we just kind of came out and swung the bat, scored seven runs, I think, that first inning. Um, everything kind of clicked. It was good to see because we'd been missing a big hit with, with runners in scoring position and, and, and kind of, you know, we, talk, we call it the snowball effect where people, you know, one guy gets a hit, gets contagious, and it kind of goes through the lineup. That's what happened in the first game. And then we, we pulled everybody out, played some other guys, um, which was good for them, get some experience. But it kind of, I'm a firm believer, it kind of gives you a lull. You, you sit out, you're, you're not in the game, the, the momentum kind of swung a little bit, and Ohio Valley took advantage, got a lead. Um, and we always talk about you know, guys stepping up and getting uh, big hits. And obviously, Troy got us going with that two-run home run. And it kind of carried over. We were able to score a couple more and, and put the game away. And then Friday, uh, Sammy Holder, he was named GMAC uh, Pitcher of the Week this week. He had a really nice outing to get you guys started to get that first win of the series where he uh, struck out eight in a complete game of seven innings. Can you just talk about his performance on the mound? Exactly what we needed. Um, after a loss like that, he comes out, sets the tone, throwing three pitches for strikes. Um, just, just, he's a veteran. You know, he's a freshman of the year in the GMAC last year. I know he's only a sophomore, but he is a veteran on our team. Have to have consistency, and he has it. Um, and it was just a good start for him. Um, commanded the ball well, didn't walk any, you know, very very few. And then we, we scored just enough for him to win. But he didn't need a lot of runs that day. He did a pretty nice job. And this weekend, of course, you host uh, Salem International for four games. You just talk about what's the biggest key, obviously, to carry that consistency over and momentum from last weekend into this weekend. Obviously, swing the bats and, and, and be contagious, um, getting hits, timely hits. But the biggest thing for us is throwing strikes and, and, and making the routine play. If we do that, I feel, I feel very comfortable. Um, I like our team. Um, we've got a chance to do some special things, but we have to do uh, those small things correctly. And if we do those, we'll be fine. All right, Coach, thank you for your time, and good luck this weekend. Thanks a lot.